Hey guys, so today I went to Grandpa Joe's Candy Store in Stroudsburg. This video is not sponsored by them, but I mean, you should definitely go check them out because, like, they've got some pretty neat candy and beverages you can find that you can't find anywhere else. So I wanted to show some of these off to you and, you know, just taste them and see how they are, and hopefully maybe you can find some of these too. Like, Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy. <laughs> so, um, actually, let's try the Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy first. Um, if you'll remember on my other channel, you probably don't know this, but like, I recorded a video where my brother Alex, like, he ate a chocolate scorpion, like, a scorpion covered in chocolate. <laughs> and apparently it was crunchy. So, um, I'll, I'll leave a link to that video somewhere at the end of this one. So, here we go. Dr. Pepper cotton candy. Uh, it, it's really pink. So, um, let's just open this up. So, like, this is the entire thing. It smells wonderful. And, uh, let me just... I need to put this back in the box. Alright. This is a bit difficult. Hang on a sec. <laughs> okay, that that's that's all I'm gonna get. So let's taste this. Mm. This is pretty good. Uh. So like I I mentioned the Stroudsburg location. I don't know where the other ones are, but, like, if you know of a Grandpa Joe's somewhere, and if it's nearby, definitely go there. Like, how else are you gonna get your Dr. Pepper cotton candy? Okay. Water to wash it down. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm definitely going to finish that at some point. Now, let's move on to the other snack I got. Strawberry Kit Kats from Japan. Like, even here. This, this was made by Nestle, and it came from Japan, and it was in an American candy shop. Ooh, okay. So, like, there, there's packets of these. So, like, it's not just a bag full of Kit Kats. Like, they're in tiny little bags, and then they're in one bigger bag. I'm gonna try this one. Hang on. Okay, there's two here. I think I know which Kit Kats I prefer. Um. That is really good. Like, if you want to taste strawberry Kit Kats instead of chocolate ones, find Japanese strawberry Kit Kats or Like, good job, Japan. Th this tastes really good. <laughs> That's nice. 
So, um, now we're done with drinks. But next, we are, um... I got three different drinks from there. So, the first one is a vintage classic Dr. Pepper bottle. I don't know if it tastes like regular Dr. Pepper, but it said it's made with real sugar. So, I'm... Um, kind of thinking that it might be different. You don't, you don't need a, a bottle cap opener. Just twist it open. <laughs> it does taste like normal Dr. Pepper, but there's probably something different about it. Like, it's bubbling inside my mouth. I can feel that. Hmm. Oh. I gotta keep the bottle cap. This, this is a souvenir now. So, that tasted pretty good. I, I can tell a little bit of a difference, but otherwise it tastes like regular Dr. Pepper. Maybe it's the sugar that's making it bubble like that. Hmm. Next we got an L8. A late one. It's soft drink so that it's not it's not alcoholic, I promise. Cherry flavored. Like I, I don't know which company this was from, but I'm excited to try it, because, like, cher cherry sodas, like, all, apparently all I had to do was put this in the fridge and be frothing out. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. I, I was kind of expecting it to taste like um, tastes like, what was it called? Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Cherry, some kind of cherry soda. Cherry and Sprite together. Some, some things escape me. <laughs> I probably should have made a script, but I wanted to do it in actual time, because it, it, it's more genuine like that. So... Definitely interesting. Hmm. It's good. Alright. And the last one. The last one I've got here. Any of you watch The Simpsons? Because, like, I've got some dog. <laughs> oh, God. Like, all right, so I love classic Sim Simpsons, like seasons one through eight. Those are really good. I'm really with the majority. Like, older Simpsons episodes were definitely the best, and over time it just got worse. So, uh... Apparently, this is an orange sparkling beverage, so it's not Duff beer. Like, A-L orange. I, I don't know what that is. Sparkling beverage. Let's just try it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Hmm. I like it. It's pretty good. It's... It's apparently yellow flavored, like Homer Simpson. So, yeah, not Duff beer, but definitely a good one. Not that I drank alcohol in the first place, because like I'm more of a person who would drink at a party, and that's it. So, um, yeah, that was my taste test, everybody.
And if you want to find the, these items, search for your local Grandpa Joe's. If, if, if there's more than one. Because I'm kind of hoping it's a chain. Like a candy store chain. I, I don't even actually know if there's more than one. And, uh... Yeah, just look for any kind of weird food or drinks you find. Because, like, some of these, more specifically, the strawberry Kit Kats are really good. So, be sure to enjoy those. And, uh, yeah, that's just about it. Links to my brother eating the chocolate scorpion and me eating a Vanity sandwich should be linked to this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.